there, Michelle here from Digivangelism. We get questions all the time. What is the best website builder to use? Uh, my answer now and probably always will be is it depends. Depends on your organization, depends on your business, your goals, who will be maintaining it going forward. We have in recent weeks talked a lot about Canva websites and they are very easy to use. Um, you can bring them, get them spun up fairly quickly. But they have their, their applications, they have their limitations. Another website platform that we talk about is uh, WordPress. All of our assets are built on a WordPress platform using Elementor Page Builder. So over the next couple of videos, um, we're going to kind of step through that from beginning to end. And we're, we're going to show you how to get a domain name, how to get a hosting package, and how to get started in the world of WordPress using Elementor. So stick around. Uh, if you have questions along the way, you can also drop them in the comments and we'll get to them as soon as we can. But if you have uh, want priority answers, answers to those questions, you can join the hub also um, linked below. So check that out as well. So let's get started. So here we are on the hostinger.com uh, website. This is our hosting package of hosting provider of choice right now. At this time of year, everyone has Black Friday sales going on or going to come up. So hosting or we were attracted to them last year because they had a very attractive offer. So in your hosting package, you have a host. Most hosts offer the domain name, right? So we're going to go to our domain and your domain name is just digivangelism.org, right? That's where people find you when they type that into the URL. And that's just think of it as a ginormous database across the entire internet of essentially like phone numbers, right? So the IP address behind the domain name of digivangelism.org points to a database that has the entries for our specific domain in there. And that's how uh, domains are kept unique. So getting a unique domain name could be a, a little bit tricky because there are so many out there right now. Um, but Toastinger has this kind of cool thing for, and I guess others do as well, that will help you generate a domain name using AI, right? So let's see how this works. So we're going to generate domain name using AI. Well, how will we do that? It says write a short description about your project or your organization or your, your business. Nonprofit that helps plant trees. Well, let's see what that generates. Put that in, generate that, and it gives you all the options that are now available. Now, notice there are .com, .org. Um, there's a lot of extensions available. .com, .org, um, .io, .io is becoming very popular, but there's there are a lot of varieties, which makes domain unique. But someone with greengrowthfoundation.com and greengrowthfoundation.org are two very distinct and different URLs and websites. So keep that in mind when you think about extensions as well. So greentrees.org, that's pro green trees. That's pretty simple. Let's say we want to buy that domain. We just go there. You have your uh, options for a three year or a two year tells you what's the most popular. Keep in mind that this is a, an intro price and when you renew, it will likely go up a couple of bucks. So um, I already have a domain, so I'm not going to buy this one, but this is what you would do. Complete your payment and it brings you back to the page that we're going to see next. So now I'm on the website page uh, panel of hostinger.com and I want to create from scratch a brand new website for a domain that I have just purchased. So this builder and, and many others like it will walk you through step by step and you can choose that path, but I'm going to go to be a little more bare bones and just take it from scratch. So I'm going to say create or migrate a website. It will kind of, if you have any of these options, you can let it sort of fill in things for you. Um, we're not going to do that right now. And you should, I mean, I, I personally like to see how things are built and like to know everything about what's going on underneath. So I would want to skip, skip all the personalized experience and just go right to, to create an empty website. And you can, if you have a website from somewhere else, you can uh, migrate that here. Or if you want to create a website with WordPress, it's going to preload that on there for you. You can do that. So we're going to skip that for now. It's, and create an empty website just so I could show you how we do that. So here's the free domain that you can get with Hostinger. Once you get a hosting package, you can get a, well, one free domain for a year. Um, I either have my domain here or you can use your existing domain from another provider. So I have purchased this prior. So I'm going to use this domain. All right, well done. We're ready. And so what do we want to do? 
let's see where we go. So from here, I'm going to say manage site. And this has behind the scenes um, hooked up my domain name to this hosting package. So I'm ready to start building the platform, which means installing WordPress. First things first, we install WordPress. Auto installer for WordPress, let's just click on that. Um, gives you some other options if you have other CMS options in mind or other um, options for what you want to do. But we are going to select WordPress because it is the most popular for all the websites out there in the world. So here it knows uh, this is my domain. It wants my website title. So let's see, let's just be community online. And it wants your administrator, username, and a password, of course. The default usually is admin for administrative usernames, or it will use your the first part of your Gmail, your email address that you registered with. Whatever you do, don't ever leave your administrator name admin because that is a security nightmare waiting to happen. So we're just gonna keep that there and have it take a create a unique password for me. And we'll save that up there. It's telling me we're just gonna take these options here. WordPress uh, 6.41 is the, the latest WordPress version we're up to. And we're going to install that and see where it takes us. All right. We are now on the dashboard before we get to the WordPress dashboard. This is uh, just telling us we're going to be using a, a secure link with SSL certificate. Every website should have that these days. If your hosting provider doesn't provide it, you should um, get certainly buy one on your own. It's recommending a plugin for a caching engine. We can install it or use another one eventually down the road. And these, these are just suggested plugins. We talk more about that in uh, future videos. Nice thing to see daily backup. We want that enabled and we see that we're on the latest versions of PHP and WordPress. And now we're ready to actually get into the WordPress panel. So we'll click that there. It's being redirected to the admin and this gives you some little um, instructions on how to do a few things, but we're just gonna say, we're just gonna go to the dashboard. This is your, your main area in, in the WordPress dashboard. It gives you, you can dismiss that. It just gives you some, some news events, some site health status. This is a good place to keep an eye on, make sure you're, don't have any alerts in there. Generally, the first thing we would do is go to plugins. So most hosting providers will install their own plugins. They do a variety of things. Uh, I don't really want that. Well, look at that. They, they're going to require that. Okay. You don't need that one. We can delete that. So next thing you need is a theme, you know, appearance and themes. Now WordPress comes packaged with a couple of default themes. We don't want any of those because we're going to be using Elementor. So we'll just click on that, delete it. And this just keeps things a little bit tight, cleaner and tidier. We don't need a lot of extra stuff and we need at least one theme. So we're going to go and say, so we need at least one theme. So we're going to come and add, add theme and we're going to take the hello theme because it's very basic and bare bones. And it really, we're going to use Elementor and the templates surrounding it to, to build the site. So the theme isn't as um, critical here. So we're going to install that and activate it. And now conveniently, hello, the hello theme knows that it's partnering with Elementor. So it, it prompts you to install Elementor for you. So you absolutely click that install and it'll do the, just that. Just as quick as that, it's been installed. So we have to activate the plugin and when we do that, see, you'll be uh, prompted to connect your Elementor to your WordPress. So I already have an account, so I'm going to connect that up and let's connect those two things together. And there we go. Now here again, it prompts you to do, uh, to, to add some things. It'll, it'll take you through a few screens to set up some images and basics, but we're, we can just skip that and go right back to the dashboard or we can browse some templates. So let's see what uh, options gives us for browsing templates here. So this is what we are, I was referring to earlier about uh, having templates. These are pre-made 
uh, websites essentially. There's they're um, built out with some stock photos, some stock or basic text boxes, and you can just scroll through them and see what kind of vibe or feel that they give you and start there. It, they're totally customizable. You don't have to stick with everything that's in it, but if you like the way things are laid out, um, you can start there. If you like a certain color pattern, you can start there. If you like thing, way, the way things are like laid out, but don't like the color pattern, you can change the global colors with Elementor and uh, change that up. So these are the website kits that uh, Elementor offers. A lot of these, unfortunately, if you see what's on, on GoPro, a lot of these require the pro license to, to use them fully. So we'll get, get into that eventually, but not right now. These first two, however, are free. So if you wanted to use this um, kit, you would just say view demo. This isn't applying it or anything. And you can just kind of give it a give it a look to see if that's what you would like. And now again, when you bring this in, it's going to have an, a giant image here. It's going to have uh, text boxes set up here. And so it gives you the basics, uh, the layout, and you can exchange and, and replace these with your own uh, text, obviously in images. So we're not going to um, apply that. We're going to look into um, another service that I like to use, and that's Templately. But come back next time when we will get into that and we will build, start building our website.